Okay, people, I'm pretty sure most of you have heard by now that a man has been found at Sizzler's um, judgment yard in August town. You see, me, I say, uh, we've got the picture of the individual in question. You see, me, I say, I'm going to update to know on what the streets is saying, but if you haven't heard the story, this is what the news is saying. And honestly, I didn't know Sir Sizzler had a bodyguard, but nonetheless, he said a Jamaican man said to be the bodyguard of the iconic reggae act Sizzler Kalanji was shot dead in Judgment Yard in August Town, St. Andrew, on Sunday night. Up to the publication time Monday morning, the man, who is also said to be an artist who goes by the stage name Culture, was still unidentified. And the reason why they say unidentified, even though they have a stage name. Your stage name is not on your birth certificate, my people, so that's... For the people them who is, is confused over how the article is written, you know. But efforts to speak with Sizzler has gone um, futile. You see me, the police said that they were called to Judgment Yard, which is one of Sizzler's residents, where the man's body was seen. It was later removed from the area and taken to the morgue. And this is the picture of the artist that um, was shot, you know, culture done. You see me, I said, um, he looked like he was shot in the back of the head, you know. Uh, there was 11 sped shells found at the scene, you know. Um, um, the streets is saying that, uh, and this is just rumors, is what the streets is not the, the gospel, you know. But the streets are called up some other artist name for orchestrating this. You see me, I say, I'm not going to say anything more. I can put in the comment section of the know what I'm going from what I'm going. You see me, I say, I'm not going to lie to you. Boy, 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 if I true. And, boy, but anyway, I'm just giving them update, people, so let's proceed. Yeah, because me here said them kill one of the shooters and all of them thing there, you see me. So, I don't know what I'm going, you know, you see me, I say, I don't think that guy was his bodyguard, but maybe somebody who was watching the yard, you know what I mean, because you know, the Sizzler like, have tours and all of these things to deal with, you see me, I say, but I'm just like, giving them an update, uh, that the streets, I say, you see me, if you don't know, I'm going to put in that in the comment section. But speaking about gang warfare, because it look like, say, the mic starts, it's like, I want to pick a side up, I don't know, and I can't put in the comment section, but this clansman trial is is definitely crazy i mean the way how this um witness you know uh, one of the bad man them who turned you know state's witness um was singing you would have swear so everybody get locked up you know what i mean but they have all been found not guilty you see me i said but even though they have been found not guilty they're not free yet you see me, I said, they're still on trial, you know what I mean? For what, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up um, with this trial, but when I, I seen the not guilty thing is, you know, I, I'm wondering how come Wives Cartel is still locked up, you see me, I said. Uh, because here you have a witness um, admitting to, you know, their part in, in illegal activities, and, um, you know, I'm telling on their one another, boy, you have to ask yourself, why is Vibes Cartel still locked up? You see me, I said, because I the same witness um, testimony that sing to him, you know. Uh, we know that the the phone business evidence was shaky and nobody and bulldoze property and all of this stuff, you know. But me just I said, you know, what's going on with Vibes Cartel's case, you know? What's the update with the appeal? You know what I mean? If you don't know what I go on, put in the comment section, but just... I'm giving them my opinion of what I go on with the clansman and I'm thinking, you know, I'm shocked, you know what I mean? I'm definitely shocked, you know, not one of them found guilty, you see me? But like I said, they're not free yet. Um, even though uh, they have been found not guilty, they're still on trial for other things, you see me? So let's proceed. I want to talk about Skilly Bang. It's safe to say that his first run, or I should say first U.S. tour is a success. You know what I mean? Um, I see him performing uh, for different types of crowd, you know, hardcore dancehall fans, um, hip-hop fans, and, you know, maybe this is some white people in other crowds, so that's definitely a good look. You know what I mean? 
I don't know how much he's charging the show, but uh, he did over like 10 shows, it looked like, you know what I mean? So it definitely made some good money, you know. Um, there was nothing really negative um, about his runs in, in um, America, except for the little hiccups them in a Connecticut, but we don't have to talk about them, you know. But it's definitely a good look for Skilly Bang, you know what I mean? He's definitely um, making a name for himself out there, you know what I mean? And the people that seem to be receiving him well, you know, especially in the hip-hop um, market. I don't know if that was his um, agenda of doing music, but you know music is universal, and you know what I mean? So it's definitely a good look. We're seeing him bring out Frenchie Montana to the Irving Plaza to do the Wap Wap remix. You know what I mean? And you know, Sir Vivio, I think his name is, um, brought him out um, and some fest. So it's definitely a good look, you know. Um, I don't know. Well, I, I'm going to say, I mean, I, I know what, um, why he's doing good is because of his hit songs. It's amazing. You know, the first one to really, you know, catch the rapper them is at a Crocodile remix. And you know, Nicki Minaj jump on it. And you know, French Montana jump on anything that's hot. That's why I'm the pan wap wap. You see me, and you say, Wiz Kid, the Afro Beats people, them. I try to jump on it too, you see me. Yeah, so it's definitely a good look, you know, because you know, Alkaline did have a hit song too. Formula, you know, French and I jump on nothing. That not at you see me, and say, but the streets is talking, and the streets is saying, you know, what is Skilly Bang doing differently from Alkaline and Shensia, because you know, those are the top runners. Um, and Jada King, they're trying to break into the international market, you know. Um, and I mean, I, you know, I, Skelly Bang definitely has some, have some official hits. And like I said, his type of delivery is more hip hop you know, the type of punchlines he delivers. It's immersive. Um, you know, he's doing it without a, a, a marketing team, too, it looks like, you know what I mean? Um, if not, they're definitely working behind the scenes. But like I said, once you're a talented artist, it speaks for yourself. It's not really too much people can do, you know. And people generally check from him and his personality. And, you know what I mean? It's definitely a good look. So that's my uh, review on Skilly Bang's first run in America. You know what I'm saying? Um, we can't put in the comment section what you don't feel about his first run and what he's doing differently from the other young artists um, that's making him a breakthrough in a department that they look speaking about um touring internationally well shensi a galpan tour inter internationally because she did some runs in america already um well i wouldn't call that touring but you know she's performed all over america already you know and you know she's from Jamaica, and I mean, but after a summer jam um, that took place the other day, she um, kicked off her European tour, and I mean, I think she got 10 plus dates out there, and it's definitely a good look, and I mean, um, I, you know how Shinsia performs already, you see me, <laughs> but one thing with Shinsia, she has to perform, you know, whether she can or not, you feel what I'm saying? And you got to respect the confidence, you know what I mean? Girl out here getting her bag and all of these things and things. So it's definitely a good look, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is definitely a different type of crowd. Obviously, um, she's looking, you know. Um, but like I said, it's still like, definitely a good look for her. You know, she's out there doing her thing, living her dream. So I don't expect to hear anybody dying at a Shensia concert, you know what I mean? Or any of them foolishness that is in me also. Um So we're not going to hear those types of reviews, you know. But yeah, big up Shensia, big up Skilly Bang. Um, it's not Shensia's first time in Europe, but this is our first time touring for her songs. Them, You know, Ludi uh, was the first time um, that she been out to Europe. People wanted to see her do Ludi and all of this stuff, you know. Now girl out there singing songs off of her album. You feel me? Yeah, but we just like give it an update while going from another one, you see me. Uh, but you know what? I don't want to long out the one in the long you see me. If anything, I drop more review on the Boom Bye Bye TV channel. But like I said, um, this is the individual that was shot at Judgment Yard, Sizzler, one of Sizzler's residents, you know. It looked like some um, P 
pick inside and all type of thing I go on and some straight shit look like I go on, you know. But me not really too concrete on the information so I don't want to put it out there but I really need to tell you who names and things I call so if you know how they can lie in the comment section, you know, and don't forget for comment on Skilly Bang and Shensei's first runs. In America and her doing her thing in um, Europe, you know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop the latest. And that's all news, music, reviews, and gossips.